okay so what is there in this question three possible features of an atomic model are orbital radius quantized energy quantized angular momentum which of these are the features of bohr model of hydrogen okay i think all of these three so i think the answer should be d uh, let me explain you this thing first of all what is bohr what are the uh, four important postulates of bohr's model of hydrogen number one is that uh, there is a concept of stationary orbits uh, no first of all the first concept is nucleus so according to bohr the concept of nucleus as given by rutherford is completely accepted that nucleus is the tiny particle in at the center of the atom which is containing all the mass and all the charge fine this is not related to the question that is why i'm not explaining it point number 2 is stationary orbits now stationary orbits according to bohr are those orbits in which even if the electron is revolving electron is getting accelerated even then it is not emitting electromagnetic waves as proved by maxwell in 1862 that all the accelerated charges produce electromagnetic wave so that is why the rutherford model is not stable but bohr has said that according to me there are some specific orbits which we can call stationary orbits in which if electron will revolve energy will not be emitted so these are called stationary orbits number 3 is the condition of uh, angular momentum so according to it is the angular momentum is always an integral multiple of h by 2 pi now from this theory what happens is they are talking about the orbital radius they are talking about some stationary orbits and obviously those specific orbits are going to have some radius r1 r2 or r3 so this is where you create shell number 1 shell number 2 shell number 3 so he is actually talking about the orbital radius and he is talking about the quantized angular momentum because this is known as the quantization condition quantization condition as given by bohr so 1 and 3 is there so what is happening in the fourth postulate the fourth postulate is that yes now there is a nucleus there are different orbits here so can electron jump from one orbit to the another orbit yes it can it can go from this to this and it would be it it will be absorbing one photon if the electron is coming from higher orbit to the lower orbit it will be emitting this all of the energy will be emitted as a packet of energy one packet of energy so the complete energy will be packaged in one packet only so there will be one photon so definitely he is talking about the energy quantization so this is the fourth postulate given by bohr so accordingly we can say that yes bohr has talked about these three phenomena d will be our correct answer so my dear students this is professor varun please subscribe to my youtube channel and also convey this message to all of your friends that they should follow the same channel here all the best